the city of brotherly love was in for a special treat as the fitness festival found its way to Philadelphia, bringing with it the Fitness America pageant. Many people from the surrounding areas promised that these women would set a new level of talent and beauty on the Fitness America pageant tour, and they proved to be correct. In fifth place was a woman who's used to performing for attention. She's from a family of 10. Maureen Helen Hiley is a teacher from Franklinville, New Jersey. She somehow manages a teaching career, two daughters, and her hobbies of biking and aerobics. Three years ago, she won the Ms. Glassboro State Bodybuilding Contest, but has now made fitness training her consuming passion. If all that isn't enough, she's also looking into owning her own club. I think it's very important for mothers today to maintain a healthy body. Not only a healthy body, but a healthy mind. Mothers think um, because you get so wrapped up in a family kind of life that you should kind of just let body and everything else go. But I'm one to say, let's keep a healthy mind and a body. From East Northport, New York, came the fourth place finisher, Janine Buto. When she's not teaching aerobics, various modeling jobs keep her busy. Janine has always been active in a number of sports, among them track, softball, cheerleading, swimming, and roller skating. She says all this exercise keeps her mind sharp, her body fit, and her soul alive. I believe fitness is important in your lifestyle because it's something that you should do every day. You shouldn't make excuses for it. You should just get up like you get up and go to work every day. Um, it also keeps your mind sharp and your body fit, and you feel good about yourself. In third place was a lovely Venezuelan who recently became a U.S. citizen, Veronica Hernandez. Traveling all the way from Richmond, Virginia to be part of the pageant, she makes her living writing, producing, and starring in television and radio commercials. In high school, she had been competitive in gymnastics and track. Her husband, a black belt in Taekwondo, inspired Veronica to take up weight training and martial arts six years ago. She's earned a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in fashion design, and that education showed in her dazzling outfit. I appear in television commercials and on radio, and I feel that uh, fitness has helped me to achieve this because it has given me the self-confidence that you need to appear in front of people and on camera. And I think winning this event would just be great for my career, and I feel like I could help other people to follow what I'm doing and help them along with their self-confidence. Runner-up Maria Gonzalez was the 1986 AAU Ms. New Jersey and has also been a finalist in fitness competitions before. Originally, she had been a gymnast for 12 years, but began bodybuilding to develop upper body strength. Adding to her repertoire, Maria has been an aerobics instructor for eight years and a dancer for the Philadelphia Wings. Maria's goal is to represent all the drug-free female bodybuilders who have what she calls muscular femininity. I do train with weights, I'm not afraid to get big and muscular, but I still do acquire that femininity. You know, being drug free uh, does have its advantages. And um, I started training because I had very big muscular legs and I wanted to um, get a, a better proportion throughout my body. So I started training, you know, weights with my upper body. And um, every year I get better and better and I get better proportion and um, just get better as you get older. The winner of the Philadelphia Fitness America pageant was Ann Bass Majum, a health club owner from North Wildwood, New Jersey. She's worked in a hospital pathology department as well as in a prominent sports therapy center. Currently, Ann does guest speaking for schools and organizations and does a weekly radio show called Fitness Friday. Although she's placed well in crystal light aerobics competitions, this is her greatest win ever. It gives me a lot of satisfaction being able to help other people with their fitness goals. I think what I try and instill in people is that whether you're competing or whether you're a senior citizen who needs more flexibility in their life or you're a high school student who wants to excel at sports, whatever your goal is, is what you should try to attain. And everyone's goal is just as important as the next person. The Philadelphia Fitness America pageant continued the growing reputation of excellence and sparkling energy that the fitness festival has enjoyed across the country. As for which region had the best competitors, only the finals at Knott's Berry Farm this November can answer that question. For American Muscle, I'm John Cobit.